Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth. Listen, we just I, I just come down here to talk, you know. <laughs> and then plus somebody asked me to do uh, a special edition in white folks news. So that's what this video is about. This is about what's going on on the other side of town. <laughs> okay, you know, like, you know, sometimes I like to peep my head in and see what they doing. Um, before we get into that, <laughs> just sit back and have a cocktail. <sighs> Do y'all ever do this? <laughs> hey. So I'm online and I'm just <laughs> looking at stuff <laughs> that I can't afford, stuff that I can't afford, <laughs> stuff I ain't going to never be able to afford. <laughs> okay. And I see a pair of Vans, which is right, <laughs> you know, in my range. And I see a pair of Vans and the Regular price was a hundred dollars. You know, vans kind of. You know, vans can get a little expensive. Um, I think a hundred dollars for a pair of vans is expensive. Um, they were on sale for like twenty something bucks. I was like, "Ooh, I need to get these," and they have my size. And then when I go to check out, girl, it's a nine ninety five shipping charge. I said, "Girl." So I have to pay $10 for some shoes that are on sale for 20 something dollars. So here I go. Just silly. Yeah, <laughs> just silly. I go back and I add some some glasses, some some shades that I had been looking at for a minute. And they were on sale for $80. And I was like, should I get these? I was like, I could put them on my credit card and just pay them off next month. The eighty dollars. The original price was three hundred and something. There are some uh, Ferragamos, and they're so cute. I was like, should I get these? They're only eighty dollars. <laughs> but, but the simple fact, <laughs> the simple fact that I am <laughs> wanting to add something for eighty dollars <laughs> to avoid paying the nine dollars and nine dollars. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> girl, that don't even make any sense. So, girl, instead of you paying the $9.95, you would rather add something that's $80 to avoid paying the $9.95. I was basically on Nordstrom Rack. NordstromRack.com. Um, in Nordstrom Rack, you if there's a there's a minimum of $89. I think it's $89, $90 basically, I believe, in order to get free shipping. <laughs> so here I go, just trying. To, like I, 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 I've done stuff like that before. I didn't, I didn't order the uh, shoes or the glasses. I think I'm just gonna go back and order the shoes because the shoes are so cute. And like I said, they're only twenty something dollars. I may order the glasses too because I have been looking at these, these, these shades for probably about two months now, and I think I need to go ahead and get them because I think eighty dollars for some Ferragamos that's a good price, especially when the price. The uh, regular price was like 300 and something. But I do that all the time. Anytime I see a shipping fee <laughs> and you have to have a minimum purchase, I will go back and add <laughs> girl, a $20 shirt, <laughs> a $30 shirt, just to avoid paying the four ninety five. <laughs> girl, just to avoid paying the $3.95. Girl, that's, that, that's, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. Instead of just paying the $3.95, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add a, a fifty dollar pair of pants because I don't want to pay that five dollars. <laughs> just silly. Just silly. Anyways, so listen. This is a special edition of NY Folks News. <laughs> I haven't did one of these in a minute. Shout out to the cousin who requested this. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and talk about the first white person. <laughs> All right. So this is Miss Miss Fashionista herself. This is according to Reality Blurb. So Dorit Kimsley is on the chopping block ahead of RHOBH season 14 as husband PK's UK series selling superhouses is canceled. Dorit uh, Kimsley is reportedly the sole remaining cast member of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, who is still waiting for their contract for the upcoming 14th season. 
following the recent exit uh, exits of Crystal. We're going to get into Crystal in a little bit. Even though Crystal is not white, girl, she is close to somebody who's white, which is her husband. So we're going to go ahead and bring her over into white folks' news, too. Okay? Um, and then Anne-Marie, because I'm Anne-Marie. Um, Anne-Marie is black. Is she black? I think she black. <laughs> Anyways, um, a report. I really, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I didn't know if she was multiracial. I didn't know if she was. I don't know, but she. I think she black. Anyways, or identifies as black. That's what I meant. I think she identifies as black. Um. Anyway, so following the recent exits of Crystal Minkoff and Anne Marie, um, a report claims Dorit, whose husband, um. PK was recently dealt with the cancellation of his own series, has yet to be renewed for the new episodes. She's the last cast member waiting for confirmation to return and casting are not sure if they want her back. A source told The Zone on Instagram on April the 18th. Her return is on Knife's Edge. Um, they have also discussed demoting her, but it's not clear what they want to do right now. As Dorit reportedly awaits the news of whether or not she'll be returning to RHOBH, her husband's real estate series, Super Sell... We already said that, girl. They just said this the third time telling us that that man show got canceled. <laughs> They're going to they let us know that PK show got canceled, okay? Um, and that was pretty much it about uh, Dory. Listen, you know, for those who don't know, I was not this big watcher of um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I watched episodes here and there. I always knew who Cal, <clears throat> excuse me, I always knew who Cal was. I knew who um, Lisa Vanderpump was. I knew who Adrian, was is it Adrian, the one who was married to the uh, the nose guy from, was it called Botched? I knew who she was. Like, I, I heard of the women because I watched the show, you know, episodes here and there. But I didn't really um, start to watch full seasons until season 10, which is really when Garcelle came in. <laughs> So I really don't know a lot about Dorit prior to season 10. I will I will say that once I came in season 10, I was not impressed by Dorit and what she brought to the show. Okay, she gave you a fashion. She gave you she gave you a look every now and again. But as far as like this housewife where people just went up for her, I did not get it. I also found out that um, Dorit's first couple of seasons on Beverly Hills, she was that girl. And girl, she didn't mind going toe to toe with the kids. Now, I think what happened, which is the same thing that happened with Crystal, and I'm going to bring Crystal into this now, is Crystal got the chop, got got chopped too. <clears throat> I think that with Crystal, I'm going to get on Crystal for a little bit. I think with Crystal, the problem with Crystal was she let the comments get to her. Crystal came, if you look at Crystal and her first season on Housewives, compared to her second season and third season, I think that the first season, Crystal, was the real Crystal. I think once she realized that Sutton was a fan favorite, had become a fan favorite, I think that's when Crystal started to pull back. And instead of really going against Sutton, she wanted to align with Sutton and be friends with Sutton. Um, and I think that probably ruined her career as a housewife. Because come her third season, Crystal really, there was really no reason for Crystal even to be on the show last season. She didn't bring anything. Okay, she had the little back and forth with Anne Marie towards the end. But for the most part, Crystal, there was no, Crystal wasn't even giving you friend of a show. Crystal was literally giving you extra. Crystal was giving you a girl, girl in the background that was invited to the party. And just happened to know a housewife and probably said a couple of words. Hey, girl, you I missed you at tennis practice today. That type of going on, right? Crystal really could have been a good housewife. If Crystal would have stayed true to herself, which I think that was the first season, Crystal. Um, and even though, you know, her brother, that storyline with her brother, I think, fell flat for me. I, it would have been interesting to see the brother come back with the, the ex-fiance and to see how that, how that would rock the boat. Because I would really want to see their interactions between Crystal, the sister-in-law, or maybe future sister-in-law, or would have been a sister-in-law, and the mother. I would have been. It would have been. It would have been. I would have been interested in seeing that how that dynamic played out. Mm. 
But I don't think Crystal cares. I don't think Crystal cares because Crystal is rich. Her husband is rich. Crystal has Crystal is has a company that's worth a hundred million dollars. Um, and then again, her husband has a little bit of money. So I don't think Crystal cares. Um, I think that Crystal's probably clocked out of Housewives anyways. Um, and there's really no need for Crystal on the show. Dorit, on the other hand, girl. Dorit, girl, they been saying y'all money is funny. They been saying allegedly that Dorit and PK's money is funny. That's part of the reason why Dorit pulled back on the fashion this season. And even when you think about what PK said in his confessional, he said that when he first met Dorit, he, what PK said, I'm paraphrasing. What he said about Dorit was when he first met Dorit, Dorit was a, was a Forever 21 Charlotte Russe type of girl. <laughs> and then when she got around these heifers, she became Chanel and Tom Ford Versace fish. <laughs> and he said every time he looked up, girl, he would look at his Amex card and it would be $20,000, $10,000, $15,000. He didn't say that, but that's what I think that he wanted to say. Okay. Um, so if Dorit lose this job, based off of the rumors that girl y'all already are having financial troubles, and then that show getting axed over there, you know, in the UK of PKs, um, I don't know what Dorit gonna do. Dorit had a cute little run this past season. I will say, I got into Dorit. I was like, okay, I see what Dorit can, what Dorit can bring. Um. But is it enough to bring her back for another season? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. So far, the two that got the axe is Anne Marie, which we know why Anne Marie. Anne Marie, <laughs> let's just talk. I know this is white folks' news, but I'm going to just throw Anne Marie in there just for one second. Okay. Anne Marie is still going off online. The other day, she fell for the okie doke. There was a. Um, an account. Uh, um, it was a burner account, <laughs> a, a fraudulent account, and it had Crystal's name. And the person was talking mess. And I guess Anne Marie thought it was really Crystal who was behind the account, and it wasn't. And so she went on some type of rant online. I, I, I want someone to break it down to Anne Marie. Listen, we don't know what Amory husband did in college. We were not there. However, the fact of the matter is Anne Marie's husband was accused of stealing coochie in college. Anne Marie's husband was accused of stealing coochie in college. And based off of the articles that I have read, the school helped cover it up, allegedly. Bravo, with all the mess they have going on at Girl, NBC Universal, Girl, slash Bravo, whatever. They were not about to add that to their plate. You already have them being sued, girl, from Nene Leakes, Leah, Brandy. I think her name is Caroline. Then you have them, you have Brandy accusing Andy of, girl, violating her. You know what I'm saying? So the last thing that Bravo was going to do in my head is to add that. Girl, we are not about to go down this road with this, with this new woman. And quiet as it's kept. Because Anne Marie didn't even make that big of a splash her first season, I think that it was an easy call. Like, girl, she she came in mid season. You know, her husband has these accusations and allegations. Girl, just just send her, her pink slip and white box. Girl, tell her tell her thank you. Girl, we sorry it didn't work out. Thank you for your services. We wish you could. We because I really don't think that Anne Marie was a bad housewife. I really think Anne Marie, Anne Marie could have been a good housewife. You know. Um, you know, there were people who didn't like the fact that she was allegedly tied to Candace Owens. And I think that her husband has said some, made some comments about trans athletes. So there were people out there who didn't like that. But just her being a housewife, I really honestly didn't think that she was that bad of a housewife. 
Um, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have cared if she would have got a, se a second chance. However, based off of what's happening with her husband, I think that was what really put the nail in the coffin for Anne Marie. It wasn't Anne Marie. It wasn't. It didn't have anything to do with anime. Okay, it was the husband. Why you got your pink slip? And that's just what it is. And I think for anyone to be shocked that she did based off of the fact that she was never, she came in the, sec, the sixth episode. And then I think after that, she missed, ep uh, missed an episode or two, girl. And then they really didn't even show any of your personal storyline. Girl, they had, so, and I think the news about her husband broke after they had already filmed. So they probably went in and just said, girl, just add her where you, you can add her, but take everything else out because it doesn't matter because after this season, she's gone anyways. Anyways. But yeah, Dorit, girl, we'll figure out what's going on with Dorit when they let us know, child. If she come back, she come back. If she don't, she don't. Um, Let me go back, back to my folder. All right. Who's next on what's going on in white folks news? Oh, let's talk about it. Oh, no. You know what? I want to talk about Andy for a second. I did talk about Andy in a previous video. I wanted to play the actual video of Andy and the guy's name um, is Amir from Summer House, Martha's Vineyard. And then the other guy, his name is West, I believe. West or West? is West. Okay. So West and Amir. So let me play this video. And then, because I talked about this again in another Hot Topics, um, but I just kind of like brushed over the video or what happened in the video, but I wanted to actually play the clip so y'all can see what I'm talking about. All right. I'm walking around the West Village. Look who I run into. The two Hello. What's up? Kings of Bravo. <laughs> wow. 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 This is going to be a good day. <laughs> this is a good day. Y'all are just drinking the day away on Hudson Street? Is that's that what's happening? Catching that's up. How you gotta do. Yeah. Wow. Wow. West is making his clubhouse debut tomorrow night. Are you excited? Yes. I'm fired up. Just don't be too mean. I'm not going to be mean. I'm, I'm I might pick you. I might pick you up. All right. <laughs> be careful. And this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Andy, and I said this in my previous video, but I want to kind of elaborate <laughs> on my thoughts. Andy, it must be nice to be a rich white man and to be so detached from reality and not to have a care in the world. Because if I was Andy Cohen, and I'm not Andy Cohen, but if I was Andy Cohen, there is no way that I would have put that video up knowing what people have been saying about me and accusing me of. But they'll accuse you of sexual harassment. <laughs> One of your employees said that, okay? And it's some other stuff too. And even though your employees grabbed your face and kissed your face, you still have the option of not posting that video. Because what, what, what if this happened? Let me just give y'all a what if. What if I'm just and I'm just saying I'm just playing a what if game. What if Amir and West or West, both of them, one of them got fired and then they came and said, um, Andy Cohen made me kiss him on the cheek in the video. <laughs> <laughs> and then what would Andy say? It, it just doesn't make sense to me. And then even with West at the end of the video saying, don't be mean to me. Uh, I may, I, I'll come, I may have to come pick you up or something like that. Kind of like that little, you know, that little, you know, and, you know, you know, let's flirting, you know, and I know West is straight, but still, girl, both of them are straight, supposedly, but girl, you never know nowadays, girl, but you know, girl, they both supposed to be straight, but that doesn't take away from girl, him flirting with Andy and it kind of like Andy was flirting back. And it's just like, it just is not a good look to me. It just does not make sense. It just does not make sense. I get that Andy wants to promote his employees. 
He wants to promote the show. Hey guys, look who I just ran into. It's Amir from Summer House Martha's Vineyard and we have West from Summer House. Make sure y'all check out Watch What Happens Live tomorrow. West is going to make his you know, debut at the clubhouse. Talk to you guys later. And then that's it. That's all Andy had to say. <laughs> real, real quick and breezy. No, but you want to put the camera up, have these motherfuckers kiss you on the side of your face, flirt with them <laughs> after they just accuse you of sexual harassment in a lawsuit the other day. Not them, but Brandy Glanville. <laughs> Does that make sense what I'm saying? You would think that with all the things that are happening at Bravo, with all the lawsuits that have been coming across their desk, that Andy, which is pretty much the face of the network, that he would be a lot more careful in the way that he moves. Like, I would think that Andy would really want to just make sure that he does his job and then takes his ass home until some of the heat dies down. But no, this is the type of videos that he'll post. <laughs> Shit like this, when they come back and bite him in his ass, he's going to be looking crazy. Anyways, Andy is a dumb queen. I'm sorry, he is. He's a silly queen. There's no way that Andy, being the age that he is, should not know not to post that in the midst of everything that's going on over there. <laughs> he just he should he should know that. Clearly he doesn't. All right, y'all. Anyways, girl, who else is up? Who else we got? Let me go to um here we go. Oh, excuse me. Oh, girl, we talked about this the other day too. Let me give y'all an update. I don't know these white people. <laughs> but I'm gonna talk about them, okay? So Selling Sunset star Christina Quinn wants full custody and alleges girl, child, A-B-U-S-E. Plus she claims Christian owes 100K in hospital bills. So former Selling Sunset star Christina Quinn is going through a very messy divorce from her estranged husband, Christian Richard. Um, now court documents have unearthed that show, show her request for full custody of the two-year-old son uh, uh, due to alleged CA. Um, plus, Christine alleges that Chris, Christian failed to pay medical bills for their son. Christian and, um, Christine and Christian got married in December 2019. The two share one son, also named Christian. Oh, girl. You named him a junior, girl. Um, but they are divorcing, <laughs> girl. He filed on April the 5th of this year. Um, this came after several a uh, allegations of ABUSE. Um, now, page six has gained access to Christine's most recent court filings and them, the Selling Sunset alum, makes some damaging, I'm sorry, some damning allegations against her ex. Um, according to docs, Christine is alleged um, to have perpetrated acts of DV and child ABUSC against her, um, her son and her. Christine goes to say, in court documents, um, I reported these acts of abuse to law enforcement because they were true and because I feared for our safety. This comes after a March 5th um, dispute between the two that resulted in him being arrested. It is alleged that he attempted to throw a bag that contained a glass, uh, contained glass at Christina. However, he allegedly missed her and hit their two-year-old son. When I tell you that, that, that is trash. Christian, I don't know who, I don't know who he is, okay? But I do know that in order for you to pick something up and throw it at your wife, one, you need your ass whooped for that. Two, for it to hit your son, I would assume that your son was close by. It's not like he was on the other side of the room and she was over here and you threw it and you, and you know what I'm saying? That means that wherever she was standing, he had to be nearby. And you still threw it anyways and missed. And then not only did you miss, but you hit your baby. Like, girl, that's just a double whammy. You're over there pretty much knocking your wife upside the head. And now you're, you're hurting your, your two-year-old child. <laughs> and then, you know, he supposedly, even after the arrest, after he got out, he showed up back at the house. Girl. Like I told Miss Christina, girl, I don't know who I don't know who she is, but I do know this girl. If you don't go get you a bang bang 
for your safety and for your sons? Because we've seen this story play out too many times where the husband, these, do you think these men give, give a damn? A man, all woman, a non-binary, do you think of a damn about a restraining order? We see it too many times or we look up and a woman's body is floating in a river. And a child is floating in a river too. And then he'll go and then girl, put a bullet in his head, girl, somewhere in the desert. Christina, girl, it, 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 girl, you better live by the but It ain't going to be me. It's going to be you before it's me. Hey, hello. Anyways. Um, the same court filing also claims that Christine, Chris, a Christian, failed to handle unpaid hospital bills related to the birth of the party's son in an amount of over one hundred thousand dollars. Girl, it costs that much to have kids. <laughs> Girl, hold up! Did I read that right? That says unpaid, unpaid hospital bills related to the birth of their party's son in an amount of over one hundred thousand. Girl, it costs over hundred. <laughs> Girl, it costs so much to have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I would have had that baby at the house in the tub. Hello. Um. Anyways, that's pretty much. I'm not going to read the whole article. I'll put the uh, link to the article in the description box if you want to read the uh, article in its entirety. I'm not going to read it. Anyways, that's pretty much it for in white folks news. Let me see. We had a couple more people, but. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see it. <laughs> ben Dover, let me see it. Hey! Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, th I'm on the wrong folder. Let me see. Okay, here we go. This is my, this is my, <laughs> this, I have a folder. It's titled IWFN. In white folks news okay period <laughs> oh another thing about andy too that he lied about <laughs> girl andy andy gonna lie and try to clean up clean up some stuff listen to this then we're gonna be done where is it at i just had it oh my god maybe we're not gonna talk about it it was about Real Housewives of New Jersey. Let me see. That's my song. Beyonce Bodyguard. Oh, here we go. So Andy Cohen clarifies comments about R-H-O-N-J not being sustainable amid Teresa and Melissa's feud and reports of cast shakeup. Insists season 14 worked and talks Jack and Britney split. Okay, so we're just going to talk about the New Jersey part, and I'm going to tell you why the, why, why the motherfucker is lying. Andy Cohen is doubling down on his claim that the Real Housewives of New Jersey is not sustainable amid Teresa Judice and Melissa Gorga's ongoing estrangement and reacting to Jack's Taylor. We don't care about them. On a couple of recent episodes of his radio um, Andy talk show, the Watch What Happens Live host 55 responded to rumors of potential uh, of a potential cast shakeup, insisted that the upcoming 14th season of R-H-O-N-J worked and was interesting and revealed if he thinks Jax, we don't care about them. Um, I want to clear something up. Now he want to clear something up. I want to clear something up or I want to add to a comment that I made that has made some news this week. Um, I don't know when I said it, but apparently I said it to Bryce from Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> Excuse me. And I don't know when um, I, I haven't seen him since BravoCon, I don't think. Um, after noting that he apparently said that having uh, Teresa 51 and Melissa 45 on the show together when they are not speaking was not sustainable. Um, Andy confirms um, that statement. It isn't sustainable. It isn't a sustainable universe to have two kinds of uh, to have kind of two camps on the show. And I think you see that with RHOP. This season is why a lot of the viewers, including me, were frustrated with it. But I will say this. It somehow worked this season, Andy continued. We got through the season and it worked. And it's interesting, as I think you see from the trailer, the season is not about Melissa versus Teresa. And I think that's great. Girl, Andy, you're so full of shit. Let me tell you something. I said this the other day. I'm going to say it again. At Bra I went to BravoCon. I was blessed by an angel um, to have a VIP, to receive a VIP um ticket for BravoCon 2023 
And I was at the, no, I just told a whole lie. I passed through the New Jersey panel. Um, but I was told that it was it's so bad with New Jersey that they had to have two different panels. They had to have one with Melissa and some of the other castmates and then Teresa and some of the other girls. That's how bad it is in New Jersey. Andy, you said what you meant the first time. It's not sustain, su sustainable and it probably is a mess. But because, girl, we see how RHOP turned out and we see how it works when there's two different groups, girl, it, it just is not going to work. So now you had to walk, 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 walk it back and try and make it seem as though, oh, no, 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 it worked. We got through the season. Yeah, you got through the season. But I can guarantee you the season is probably a mess. It's probably a mess. There's no way you can shoot a reality show that's supposed to be about five, six, seven, eight, nine women, whatever, and then, girl, it's divided. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I had to say. I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.